Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Ron Rivera here, back to bring you another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a smart speaker. Specifically today I'm going to be reviewing the Apple HomePod Mini speaker. I'm going to be going over its design, its functionality, the sound quality, the price, my experience using it, and whether or not I would recommend you to get this speaker yourselves. So let's get into my review on the Apple HomePod Mini. When it comes to design, the Apple HomePod Mini comes in a spherical shape. It has a flat top that houses the only controls on the HomePod Mini, which include a play pause button, a volume up and down button, and to enable Siri. When you command it, with voice commands, the top of the HomePod mini lights up with LED lights. The Apple HomePod mini's spherical shape is surrounded with a mesh grill that surrounds the HomePod mini and gives you 360 degree sound, which is very nice. Overall, the Apple HomePod Mini's design is decent, but it is nothing overly impressive. When it comes to the functionality, the Apple HomePod Mini's voice assistant is very helpful. The HomePod Mini comes equipped with four microphones to pick up your voice commands. However, one thing to note is that the Apple HomePod Mini really integrates with the Apple ecosystem very well. But having said that, if you do not have a lot of Apple devices, if you do not have an iPhone or an iPad specifically, or the Apple kit in your ecosystem, you're gonna have a hard time dealing with this smart device. It can connect a lot through that home kit and if you have other devices or other brand phones or tablets, you're gonna struggle using the Apple HomePod Mini. And although it does a nice job of picking up your voice commands and Siri is, a, is an adept voice assistant, I would say that the Apple HomePod Mini limits itself with functionality with this detail. When it comes to sound quality, the Apple HomePod Mini produces a very nice level of sound. It has very good bass for its size and it produces very nice highs in its music or podcast or vocal music listening. However, the Apple HomePod Minis mids are not so impressive and I guess getting more onto the topic of price, when it is priced at such a point that it is at the $100 mark, comparing it to other smart speakers or speakers in that price range. The Apple HomePod Mini, while it is a good speaker when compared to other speakers sound in that same price range, it is definitely not the strongest or best speaker. So for that reason, I would say the Apple HomePod Mini speaker and sound is good but not great. Finally, I had just touched upon it, when focusing on the price, the Apple HomePod Mini is priced at $99.99, right around $100. I seldom see it on sale, which personally I'm a little surprised by because it is one of the smaller speakers for that price range, like I had mentioned. There's the JBL Charge, the Marshall Emberton, um, and the Google Nest audio speaker that are all in that price range or maybe even slightly cheaper that produce a an excellent impressive level of sound that rivals 
the HomePod Mini and definitely shines above it. And when you're thinking of the size of the Apple HomePod Mini, it more resembles the Amazon Echo fourth generation, which looks very similar to the HomePod Mini in that it has a spherical shape, it's like a ball, and it has a 360 degree sound as well. So for that reason, I think the Apple HomePod Mini is a little overpriced. <clears throat> I would love to have seen the HomePod Mini priced in the range of um, $59.99, uh, even $49.99, and then I think it would uh, compete more with speakers in that price range and uh, stand out a little more. But for that reason, I would say the pricing is a little off. I think it is a little expensive for the level of audio and quality it gives you in its speaker and sound. So overall, the Apple HomePod Mini has a decent design that provides 360 degree sound. It has an adept voice and smart assistant that can help you do simple tasks, but it is a little limited with this functionality, especially if you do not have a lot of Apple devices. Its sound is good, but not great compared to other speakers in its price range and the price seems to be a little high for what the Apple HomePod Minis gives you in terms of value. So for that reason, I would say the Apple HomePod Mini is not a buy for me. I would definitely pass on this speaker. I think for that price, you can look into the Google Nest audio speaker. You can look at the JBL Charge. You can even look at the Marshall Emberton, which I have reviewed recently and really enjoyed. It also had similar um, surround sound or 360 degree sound. And I think if you get the Apple HomePod Mini and you have a lot of Apple devices, it might work out for you, you might enjoy it. But overall, I would say I was not overly impressed with the HomePod Mini and I wouldn't recommend you to get it yourselves. So there is another review. If you enjoyed the content in this video, make sure you leave a like. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications for upcoming videos. If you haven't already, also make sure you follow me at my Instagram at irondrivera where I'll be posting current and upcoming videos. Um, most importantly, I want to hear what you guys think of the Apple HomePod Mini. Do you have this smart speaker? Do you agree or disagree with my thoughts? I want to hear what you guys have to say, so leave your thoughts in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. As always, until next time, see you guys.